Hello. Keith Rucker here at VintageMachinery.org. Today uh, we're back on to working on the LeBlanc lathe. We've taken a little hiatus from this uh, restoration project, not so much because I haven't wanted to work on it, but I've been working on getting my shop built and uh, we just got to a point in the shop construction where we were working on ceilings, working on some walls, and I had to move equipment around in the shop uh, to get things out of the way. And while things were piled up, I just couldn't get to the machine to work on it. Plus, I was concentrating my efforts on working on the shop. I'm happy to say uh, that while we're not 100% done in the shop now, we are to the point where I can kind of start assembling my machine shop side over here. And uh, we have got this machine sitting where it is going to be sitting. Uh, and I had originally kind of planned on putting over on a different wall. I've moved it around just a little bit, uh, just in anticipation of some, of how I want to set things up in here. But anyway, this is where this uh, LeBlanc 12 uh, inch heavy duty lathe is going to sit. And uh, because of that, the next step that we want to do is go ahead and get this thing uh, on the ground uh, all the feet on the ground and to get the bed level. Now, leveling a bed on a lathe is an extremely important part of setting up any metal lathe. Um, and the reason is, is that uh, if, if the bed is not perfectly level, you can run into a situation where as you're turning, particularly longer pieces, uh, you'll get air, you'll get a uh, taper in the part that you're turning. And the reason is, is that the bed on this machine was ground perfectly flat. Uh, all the waves on here were ground flat. And when they did that at the factory, they actually got the machine leveled up on the grinder, on a big, huge surface grinder. They ground everything in and, uh, and then took it off. So when you go and set this back up later, if you don't have the bed perfectly level again, uh, what can happen is, is that bed can actually have twist in it. It can actually be warped. If you got a, a three pedestals where there's a pedestal in the center and one is higher, the middle is higher and lower than the end, you can actually get a hump in there. Now I'm talking about very small measurements here. And we're not talking about something you can see with your naked eye. I'm talking about thousandths of an inch. Uh, it can be out of level or, or have a little bit of twist, but that will then, um, transfer to the part that you're working on as the carriage moves across the ways. So it's always important to when you set a new machine up to get it level. And uh, I'm going to show you the process of setting up and leveling uh, this LeBlanc lathe in this episode. So any good lathe that you have should have some type of uh, means in it for leveling that machine out. And in the case of this machine, if you look, there's four holes down here. Uh, along the, on the long base, four on each side, actually a total of eight. And um, if you look in here, these are actually threaded. And uh, they're three quarter inch coarse threads. And uh, they haven't had set screws in them in a while. Uh, and that's what we're gonna do. We're basically going to install a set screw into that threaded uh, uh, hole. And then we can adjust these up and down and adjust uh, each one of them individually until we get the machine level. So uh, because these have uh, got a lot of crud and stuff in it, I've got a three quarter inch tap and I'm just gonna basically just kinda run it down through here, chase these threads out. You know, they're not too terrible, but there is a bunch of uh, just dirt and crud and chips and shavings and grease and whatever down in these. So uh, we're just gonna clean those out using a tap. All right, I think that's through. We'll back them out now. So with the hole cleaned out, I've got some brand new uh, three quarter inch set screws. I've got a little um, jam nut on here where we can tighten these up. Once we get everything level, I can snug these up where they won't move around. So for right now, I'm just gonna kind of screw this thing in here and uh, just get it down. Uh, below the surface and we'll work on leveling them up uh, all together here in a minute. So sometime back I made some riser feet uh, for this lathe and uh, I did this for a couple reasons. I really wanted to get the lathe up just a little bit higher. For, for me it was just a little bit low and uh, just to keep them having to bend over as much, I wanted to raise it up a couple inches. So I, I made these riser blocks but uh, really the, the key thing about these is we have a nice big footprint this sits on 
and uh, that spreads the weight of the machine out. You really don't want to put the set screw down directly on your concrete because you're going to have a tiny little point down there with all the weight bearing into it. It'll, it'll eventually, it can damage your floor and it can put a lot of weight on a very small area. Putting a, a big plate like this under here will spread that weight out across your floor. Even though it doesn't look very big, that's really spreading it out over a lot of cubic or square inches. Uh, so I'm going to just now come in here and uh, I, I put some little dimples in the top of these with those set screws to go into. Uh, so once they're in there, they're really not going anywhere. So I'm just going to get all these tight. And uh, once we get that done, uh, I'll probably go ahead and raise them up enough to get these uh, blocks out from underneath it. And then we can start the leveling process. So we got our feet up underneath uh, the lathe now. And uh, so now comes the fun part of getting it all adjusted. And we'll show you how we're going to do that. I'm using a uh, machinist level to do this. Now, a machinist level is going to be a lot more accurate than a typical carpenter's level. These uh, are accurate. I, I want to say it's like a thousandth of an inch over a foot. Um, or maybe it's, I think that's right. Uh, I'd have to go look it back up. These are st uh, stare at number 98s. And I've got an 8 inch and a 12 inch uh, links on them. Uh, I, you could do this with just one. I've got two of them, so I got one set up in both directions to kind of illustrate here. So you got to level it in both directions. You have to level it across the entire uh, length of the of the bed as well. So uh, on on the one going across here, because of the way this one is, I've got a couple of one, two, three blocks laying on uh, two areas that should be in plane with one another, and I'm just bridging across that. Uh, and if you look right now, uh, what needs to happen is, is uh, the backside needs to raise up. And um, let's see, on this one, the, the tail end down here needs to drop down. So I think what I'm going to do is get it level across it this way first. It's just a matter of preference, and I'll probably do this at both ends and get it kind of leveled, and then we'll worry about going up and down. And I'll have to go back and forth and check this, because as we make adjustments, It'll change everything else, but uh, start out with, let's just kind of get it leveled up in this direction. So I'm going to go down below, uh, tighten up some screws, and uh, see if we can see that bubble move. Whoop, went a little bit too far. Back it back off. All right, so for now, I'm going to call this good because, again, as we make adjustments, we're going to have to keep fine-tuning these. So we got it close, and uh, now I'm going to work on uh, getting this one here more or less level, and then we can really do the fine-tuning. So we got this one more or less level, but now this one has tipped out. So again, this is just a matter of uh, making fine adjustments. So let me uh, make a couple of quick ones on this one and see if we can get that straightened out. All right, so these are, they're not perfect, but they're pretty darn close on both axes. So what I'm going to do now is just move it down to the other end, and uh, let's see what we look like down there. So when I come down to this end, um, level in this axis is not bad, but I, I am a little bit off bubble down here at the very end. And what that tells me is, is I got a little bit of twist in, um, in the whole carriage as it sits right now. So we're going to work on trying to work this out and then we'll go back and uh, do some fine tuning on the, the level over the lengthwise. 
the most important part is the twist in the bed. You know, as long as the, this axis is straight, it can actually be out of level just a little bit and not really matter because uh, you're just going up or downhill uh, and everything is in line. But the twist in the carriage is critical that you get all of that out. Uh, so we're going to work on that right now. All right, guys, it took me about 20 minutes uh, fiddling around from uh, one place to another, but we've got all the lugs uh, snug up on the bottom. We have everything is level from one end to the other. You know, my level going along the length is, I mean, it's off by maybe just a, you know, quarter of a bubble, but I can live with that. And it, it seems to be consistent all the way up and down. That's just as good as I could get it again. This direction is key. I've tested it in multiple places across the length of the bed. It looks like, you know, we've got pretty much all the twist out of this. Uh, again, there may be just a teeny tiny amount that I just can't adjust out, but it's pretty darn close, guys. So uh, I'm happy with my results. So there you go. There's the process I use to level my lathe. It's not rocket science. It just takes a little patience, a little bit of uh, fiddling around and getting things just right. Uh, but it is a very important step and something that everybody that has a lathe should make sure they go through the process and do. If you don't do this, if you just plop it down on the ground and let it sit where it's at, you're very likely going to be frustrated with the results that you get on your machine. But if you just take a little bit of time to uh, get it level, it will work much better. So with that, that'll be a wrap. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, we hope to get... A little bit more done on this lathe restoration now that we've got it where it's going and actually have some room to work on it again. So uh, we'll be bringing you more on this series over the next uh, few weeks. Thanks a lot.